Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Crochet Rainbows and Butterflies. Today we're going to learn how to crochet this baby booty. Now the size of this booty is a little less than three and a half inches. It can fit a newborn baby or a baby of around one to two months. Now before we get started, if you haven't yet, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to never miss a crochet tutorial. Now for this tutorial, I'm using crochet hook 3.5 millimeters. You can use any crochet yarn, but for this tutorial, I'm using crochet four ply yarn. Now for the bow, on how to make the bow, I'm going to leave a link below in the description box. I have a video on that. So for making this bow, you can follow that tutorial. So let's get started. We begin with a slip knot and once you have your slip knot, you need to work a chain of 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Now once you have your chain 10, you need to work a half double crochet in the second chain from the hook. Two half double crochets in the second chain from the hook. So you need to count the second chain. You don't count the one that's on your hook. This is one and this is two. So right into this you work two half double crochets. Now to work a half double crochet you need to yarn over. Insert your hook into that stitch. Yarn over, pull through, you have three loops on your hook, you need to yarn over and pull through all three. Now that is how you work a half double crochet and you need to work one more half double crochet in the same stitch. Now you need to work one half double crochet in each of the next seven stitches. So we start with one, two, three, four, five, Six and seven. Now you'll be left with one stitch, the last one. Right into that, you need to work six half double crochets. That's one, two, three, four. Five and six all into the same stitch. Now you need to work seven half double crochets in the next seven stitches. So you start with this one right here. That's one, two, Three, four, five, six, and seven. And now you need to work two half double crochets in the last stitch. Now that is the same stitch in which we worked two half double crochets earlier when we started the row. Right to that stitch, you need to work two half double crochets. That's one and two. And now you need to join your row with a slip stitch. Now for the next row, you need to chain one and you need to work two half double crochets 
in the first stitch that's right here so that's one and two in the next stitch you need to work two half double crochets that's one and two and now you need to work one half double crochet in each of the next seven stitches so we start with one two three four five six and seven and now you need to work two half double crochets in each of the next six stitches so in each stitch you work two half double crochets for the next six stitches we start with the first one it's one and two in the first stitch this is the second stitch two half double crochets third stitch two half double crochets fourth stitch two half double crochets fifth stitch two half double crochets and sixth stitch one and two and now you need to work one half double crochet in the next seven stitches one in each for the next seven stitches that's one two three four five six and seven now you will be left with two stitches you need to work two half double crochets in each of them so we start with the first one two half double crochets in the first stitch and in the next one two half double crochets it's one and two and now you join your row with the slip stitch now for the next row you chain one and you work two half double crochets in the first stitch that's one and two in the next stitch you need to work one half double crochet in the next stitch you work two half double crochets it's one and two and in the next stitch you work one half double crochet and now you need to work one half double crochet in each of the next seven stitches we start with one two three four five six seven now in the next stitch we are going to work two half double crochets and in the stitch after that we are going to work one half double crochet so in the first one two half double crochets in the next one one half double crochet and we are going to repeat this six times so we start with the first two so that's two half double crochets in one one half double crochet in the next one so this is the first time we've done this now this is the next one 
two half double crochets in the next stitch one half double crochet that's the second time in the next stitch two half double crochets in the next stitch one half double crochet so that's the third time next stitch two half double crochets in the next stitch one half double crochet that's the fourth time next stitch two half double crochet next stitch one half double crochet fifth time next stitch two half double crochet next stitch one half double crochet this is the sixth time so we've completed working two half double crochets and one half double crochet six times now you need to work one half double crochet in the next seven stitches one half double crochet in each for the next seven stitches that's one two three four five six and seven now you're left with four stitches so in the first one here you need to work two half double crochets one and two in the next stitch one half double crochet in the next stitch two half double crochet one and two and in the next stitch one half double crochet and now you need to join your row with a slip stitch chain one and now you can cut your yarn now for the next row I'm changing the color of the yarn now I'm going to join the yarn right here if you can see I work the slip stitch here after that I have my two half double crochets now in the stitch next to it right here I'm going to join the yarn now for this row we are going to work in the back post of the stitches only so for that I'm going to start with the slip knot first now we are going to work in the back post only so now that will be only these stitches here so we are going to work in these stitches that's one that's two that's three so when you insert your hook you don't have to go in the entire stitch you need to leave out the first one this one and you insert your hook like this so this will be working in the back post of the stitches so I'm going to join the yarn right here and you work your first stitch the first half double crochet in the same stitch the next half double crochet in the back post of the next stitch again one half double crochet in the next stitch so we are working only in the back post one half double crochet in the next stitch one half double crochet in the next stitch and you need to continue working this pattern for the rest of this row you will work one half double crochet in each of these stitches in the back post only so at the end of this row you need to have 44 stitches so 44 half double crochets when you reach the end of this row after you complete your row you need to join it with a slip stitch And now you chain one 
you work one single crochet in the first stitch one single crochet in the second stitch one single crochet in the third stitch and you need to continue working one single crochet in each stitch of this row and you need to have a total of 44 single crochets when you finish this row after you complete your row you need to join it with a slip stitch chain one and now you need to work one single crochet in each of the next 11 stitches we start with this first one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven now you need to work half double crochets two together in the next two stitches so for that we will work one half double crochet in the first stitch and you don't need to complete the stitch and one half double crochet in the next stitch and you need to work these two stitches together i'll show you how to do that yarn over insert your hook in the first stitch yarn over pull up a loop now you have three loops on your hook you don't have to complete your stitch yarn over again insert your hook in the next stitch yarn over pull up a loop now you have one two three four five loops on your hook now you need to yarn over and pull through all these loops now this is working two half double crochets together now in the next stitch you work one half double crochet and in the next stitch you work one half double crochet now in the next two stitches we are going to be working two half double crochet together so you yarn over insert your hook yarn over pull through yarn over insert your hook yarn over pull through so we've got the two stitches here you have five loops on your hook yarn over pull through all the stitches so again we work two stitches together here two half double crochets together now one half double crochet in the next stitch and one half double crochet in the next stitch now again we are going to be working two stitches together so half double crochet two together yarn over insert your hook pull through yarn over insert your hook in the next stitch pull through yarn over pull through all the stitches all the loops now in the next stitch you work one half double crochet next stitch one half double crochet now again next two stitches we'll be working half double crochet together yarn over insert your hook in the first stitch pull through yarn over insert your hook in the next stitch pull through yarn over pull through all the loops now in the next stitch you work one half double crochet in the next stitch you work one half double crochet now again in the next two stitches you need to work half double crochets together 
So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, pull through, yarn over, pull through all the loops. Now again, in the next stitch you work one half double crochet. In the next stitch you work one half double crochet and you need to work the next two stitches half double crochet together. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull through, yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, pull through, yarn over, pull through all the loops. So we worked five times in total. We worked two half double crochets together and in the next stitch one half double crochet, in the next stitch one half double crochet. We've repeated this five times. Now you need to work one single crochet in each of the next 11 stitches. So we start with your this one. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Now you join your row with a slip stitch. Now for the next row you chain one. You need to work one single crochet in the next 12 stitches. Start with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Now in the next stitch you need to work one half double crochet. In the next stitch Next two stitches you need to work half double crochet together. So you yarn over, insert your hook in the first stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, pull up a loop. Now you have five loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all the loops. Now in the next two stitches you need to work one double crochet together. So we will be working double crochet two together that is two stitches together double crochet four times. So we'll start with these two stitches first. Yarn over, insert your hook yarn over pull up a loop you have three loops on your hook yarn over pull through two don't finish your double crochet stitch now again yarn over insert your hook in the next stitch yarn over pull up a loop now you have four loops on your hook Yarn over, pull through two loops. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all three. So this is how you work your double crochets two together. So we've done this in the first two stitches here. This is one time. We need to work this three more times. So the next two stitches, we are going to repeat this pattern of working one double crochet together in the next two stitches. So this is the first one. This is the second one. We already completed one. So this is the second one. Two. Three. 
I'm working the same double crochet together in two stitches which I showed you right here four times. So this is one, two, three and this is our fourth one. Four. So we started with a single crochet then we worked half double crochet together in two stitches and then we worked double crochet two together in two stitches four times one two three and four now once you finished with this in the next two stitches we are going to work half double crochet together so we start with the first one the next stitch you have five loops on your hook yarn over pull through all so we've done a half double crochet two together in the next two stitches now in the next stitch you need to work one half double crochet and in the next 12 stitches you need to work one single crochet it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve and you join your row with a slip stitch now for the next row you chain one and you need to work one single crochet in the next 11 stitches that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven now in the next two stitches we are going to work half double crochet together so yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop yarn over insert your hook in the next stitch pull up a loop and now you need to yarn over pull through all the loops now in the next two stitches we are going to work double crochet together so yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop you have three loops on your hook yarn over pull through two do not complete your stitch now you yarn over insert your hook in the next stitch pull up a loop you have four loops on your hook yarn over pull through two now you're left with three loops yarn over pull through all three so now that is working double crochet together so we're going to repeat that two more times yarn over insert your hook in the next stitch yarn over pull through two loops yarn over insert your hook in the next stitch yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through all three this is the second time we worked it this one two now this is the third time yarn over insert your hook pull through two loops yarn over insert your hook in the next stitch pull up your yarn yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through all three so if you can see we worked a single crochet in the next two stitches we worked half double crochet together in the next two stitches we worked double crochets two together and we worked our double crochet two together three times one two three now once you've done this in the next two stitches we are going to work half double crochet two together again so that's one and two and now you need to work 
one single crochet in the next stitch and you continue working one single crochet in all these stitches you need to have 11 stitches in total I completed working single crochets on this side I had 11 stitches here and once you've done that you need to work a slip stitch chain one and you can cut your yarn I've completed working the ends of the booty and I'm going to attach this chain. This is a chain of 60. Now to attach it you need to go into two stitches here like this and pull the chain through. And now I'm going to tie the bow right here. Now to make the bow, as I told you earlier, I'm going to leave a link in the description box. I have a video on how to make this bow. You can attach a bow or a flower or a pom-pom. Whatever you feel will look pretty on this booty. You tie it up and you need to work these ends and we are finished working the booty. We have completed working these booties. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and happy crocheting.